I was distracted and in traffic I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened But it really got me thinking Were you out drinking? Were you in the living room chilling, watching television? It's been a year now, I think I figured out how How to let you go and let communication die out I know, you know, we know You are in town for forever and it's fine I know, you know, we know, we weren't meant for each other and it's fine But if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? You'd come over and you'd spend the night Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant Cause if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? The sky'd be falling and I'd hold you tight and there wouldn't be a reason why We would ever have to say goodbye Cause if the world was ending you'd come over right Right? And if the world was ending you'd come over right Right? Hey guys, thanks for checking out this guitar lesson for If the World Was Ending by J.P. Sachs featuring Julia Michaels. Uh, it's an awesome song. Olivia and I actually just did a cover of it recently. Uh, it's a beautiful song and how timely. They wrote this before any of this happened. How crazy is that? Um, but anyway, yeah, let's jump into it. Just a couple chords, very simple strumming pattern. This one should be easy. Capo on the first fret too. Don't forget that part. Yeah, the first chord is C. So you play that with ring finger on the third fret of A middle finger on the second fret of D, and index on the first fret of B. The next chord is D minor, and you play that with middle finger on the second fret of G, ring on the third fret of B, index on the first of high E. And the next chord is F, and the way I play it in this song is I put my ring finger on the third fret of D, middle on the second fret of G, and then I put my index finger on both the first fret of B and high E, like that, so. The next chord is G, and you play that with middle finger on the third fret of low E, index on the second fret of A, ring on the third fret of B, and pinky on the third fret of high E. The next chord after that is E minor, and you play that with just middle finger on the second fret of A, ring on the second of D. Alright, last chord for the song is A minor, and you play that with middle finger on the second fret of D, ring on the second of G, and index on the first of B. Now you know all the chords, uh, strumming pattern is very simple. So for the verses, you're just doing a downstroke on the first beat of every measure. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and so on. And for the bridge, the uh, I know, you know, we know part, uh, you're actually just, you're changing the chords on every two beats, and that's when you do a downstroke. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And then finally for the chorus, what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a downstroke on every single beat. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, like I said, I'm keeping it really simple for this song. It doesn't have to be any more complicated. You got the chords, you got the strumming pattern, capo on first fret, uh, let's do it. I was distracted and in traffic. I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened, but it really got me thinking. Were you out drinking? Were you in the living room chilling, watching television? It's been a year now, I think I figured out how, how to let you go and let communication die out. I know, you know, we know, you were in town for forever and it's fine. I know, you know, we know, we were in that other and it's fine but if the world was ending you'd come over right you'd come over and you'd spend the night would you love me for the hell of it all our fears would be irrelevant cause if the world was ending you'd come over right
sky be falling and I'd hold you tight And there wouldn't be a reason why We would ever have to say goodbye Cause if the world was ending you'd come over right Right? And if the world was ending you'd come over right Thanks a lot to everyone that watched. I hope it's a lot of help. Uh, I say this kind of often, but it'll be really fun. I don't think anyone has ever done it in the history of Craig and Olivia lessons, but if any of you are using this video to make a cover and put it on YouTube, please put it down below. Uh, I would love, that would just warm my heart up, uh, genuinely, to see you guys take what I teach and uh, make something really cool out of it. Also, gotta plug myself. Um, Olivia and I have been working on this album for probably six months now, on and off. Uh, we originally wrote the songs in 2017, so it's really been uh, years and years since these songs were originally made. And yeah, we have a 10 song, all originals of course, a 10 song album coming out very, very soon. Don't have a specific date yet, but probably before the end of July. Uh, that's what we're talking about right now. Uh, still gotta send them out for mastering. We've got this amazing friend, Tim Sonfeld, out in LA. He's listening to a couple of them, uh, giving a bunch of notes, doing some mixing, uh, potentially adding some instruments would be awesome. But yeah, got that coming very soon and we're super excited to show it to you guys. Anyway, thanks a lot.